hello and welcome everyone so in this video i will be talking about salesforce certifications and their importance in our interviews salesforce is releasing so many certifications in fact now we have so many certifications that i feel that it is irrelevant to put i am 7x certified or 8x certified in linkedin it does not matter at all all right but should you be considering salesforce certifications just from the interview point of view or if you are a fresher what kind of certifications do you need or you should have are the topics we are going to discuss here all right so see if you are a fresher or if you have experience of let's say less than three years then the only important certifications from your point of view is administrator and pd1 along with those free admin uh, uh, free ai certificates which salesforce has released see certification is a good to have thing but it's not like if you are certified it will uh, boost your interview selection chances drastically or it will exponentially increase your chances of selection no there are few companies who do have some basic criteria for those certifications but trust me i have 10 years of experience i can count the companies which asked about my certifications on finger there were only three four companies which actually asked about my certifications otherwise most of the time i was the one who was telling them that okay i am certified pd1 i am certified pd2 i am this and that they were not interested in fact if you tell them that you are pd2 certified and if you are not able to solve a basic problem that will be so negative for you for that interview so see the basic uh, process is that you work on some project you get some knowledge and then you apply for certification to prove that you have all those knowledge and you are certified by salesforce but now what companies do or what is happening in the ecosystem is that if you are not certified they will not put you in project or they will not uh, select you hence people started giving certifications beforehand to increase their chances but this has gone so out of limit that sometimes i feel that certifications are irrelevant from the interview point of view if you have earned a certification you can definitely flaunt it in your interview because you have worked really hard for it but if you have earned that certification via shortcut then please do not do that it is not going to help you in fact this is like uh, this is like digging your own grave you are talking about something let's say i'm talking about i am sales cloud certified but i don't know what is code object or what is the relationship between opportunity and product then i will i'm digging my own grave by saying that i'm sales cloud certified because i will not be able to answer any deep question on that so i should not be flaunting that and all my new people all the people who are freshers or less than two years of experience certifications are good to have thing they are not a mandatory thing all i see now freshers are coming with a pd1 and uh, admin certifications because companies are asking them forcing them to do but um, they lack knowledge if i ask them what is the difference between uh, uh, static variable and instance variable they might not be able to tell but they are pd1 certified so that then that certification is not a certificate of your knowledge but uh, it tells that you've got that certification by some other means which definitely will be bad for you so certifications are good to have thing if you have earned it very good flaunt it there is no harm in flaunting that but if you are just following a race to get more certifications and uh, so that you can flaunt it in the interview and this will increase your chances that is not the case now all in interviews all depends on how you are answering the question even if you do not have certifications but you are able to answer the questions of interviewer well then that is sufficient for you to get uh, those certifications but having said that up to 3 years of experience definitely have pd1 and admin because they are basic certificate if you have learned salesforce even from an institute or somewhere you should have that much knowledge to be able to pass pd1 and admin because they are base certifications it will be good but try to follow a road map to get them not any shortcut because there are so many shortcuts and uh, people are taking it people are using it trust me not worth it will 
it will it will leave a mark in your uh, in your mind that you have achieved pd1 by bad practices or by dumps or something and you will not be able to recover from that uh, uh, mental uh, bad state don't do that earn it and then you will be able to flaunt it in the interview like nothing before so that is my two cents on certification same goes for trailhead badges trailhead is a very good learning platform and uh, uh, we should be very thankful to salesforce that they have something by which we can learn but again do not fall in the trap of getting more trailhead badges more points becoming a 2x ranger 3x ranger without following a proper structure if you are learning something do not randomly pick the module pick a module which you want to learn create your own notes from that module otherwise trust me you will forget i forgot many things which i learned in my first year second year because i did not follow any structure i used to pick any trailhead badge because i was in a rush to complete 100 uh, modules and then 150 then 200 becoming 1x 2x trust me if you follow a proper structure if let's say you are learning admin follow a proper structure follow a first learning path of admin then becoming on the salesforce sales cloud or service cloud any path you select follow that particular path create your own notes i keep on saying on every second video to create your own notes because we do not realize when we create those notes but after a year or two when we forget all those things and revise those notes we understand how easy it is to revise your own notes than going through those uh, links or blogs or documents or what not it is really, really difficult to learn from those things because many times you will forget from where did you learn that particular piece if you have your own notes it will be good from interview point of view as well because see if you are going for an interview if you have 3 years of experience as well they can ask a fresh level question you you if you have your own notes it will be very easy for you to revise those things as well just do not fall in the trap of getting as many modules follow a proper structure create your own notes it will be good for you from uh, in future as well thank you guys